All right, stop Brock in there. Hey, oh, you didn't expect that, did you? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, mirror. mirror. All right. Hey, everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, and I've been here a while. Yeah. This is like Tom Hanks. Give me a sec. Anyway, Adam Savage here in my cave with a one-day build that is a bit of a hairy problem. Yes. Um, here's my favorite part about this beard. Oh, dude. Okay, so I purchased this from an Etsy store. Uh, we'll include a link. Uh, there is a link below. Um, this is Yak Hair, uh, and it is uh, on netting. It is beautifully made, $120. That is a fantastic deal for such a good looking beard. Um, it's meant to be applied like a beard is, you know, with some uh, uh, spirit gum or whatever your 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 makeup stickum of choice is. Um, I decided to hand bend a spring steel um, pair of ear hooks for it. And they, I didn't know how it would work. That's why you didn't, that's why you're not watching that video. Cause sometimes I got to problem solve this stuff um, on the QT well, before I, there is just sometimes that I need the mental space of not, of really not knowing and seeing how it's gonna go. So what I did when I first did this is I just made the ear hooks and then I held the beard up to it and I saw how I would hold it and then I used like bits of tape to hold it on. Um, and then I thought, well, what if I sew it? And my question about sewing was, if I sewed it, and you can see here how I've sewed this around, will it hold it or will it slide all around? Turns out, holds it really nicely. So, I, look, this may be something that people have been doing for decades. I don't know. It worked great for me. Um, so this is just my fun, this is my fun old man walk around beard. Um, or I guess if I want to go host a discovery show up in Alaska, I could just jump right in. Um, but uh, this is for a specific costume. And the costume requires a big black beard. And that's why I also got this guy. Mm -hmm. And same makers. And here's the mustache. Uh -huh. Yeah, now I want to do the same thing with this that I did with this. And this time I want you to get to see it. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to make, we're going to make a, uh, easy hook on, take off beard holder for this. And I think it's actually gonna be much simpler than this one. Um, and it's also gonna have an integrated mustache holder. Yeah, I should be able to finish that by the end of the day. <laughs> Who knows? Um, what is the cosplay you ask? Oh. I mean, careful watchers of this channel may be able to guess the cosplay that I'm doing with this black beard, but I'm, it's not black beard, it's not black beard, but um, it is, uh, you know, you might have clues in recent videos we've made, but I'm just gonna leave this one unstated as to who I'm supposed to be in this costume. Uh, yeah, all right. I think the wire I used for this is 30 thou? Oh, no, it's 50 thou spring steel. I mean, I, I really like how structural this is. I like how robust it is. Um, you know, it tickles your nose every time you put it on. But hell, spells, we put this on everyone. Everyone looks amazing in this. Even my wife. My wife looks hilarious in this mustache. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> right? I mean, I, I just like, yeah, man. I just, I just want to walk around the world like this. This is great. All right, I guess I better get started with this video. <laughs> Excellent. There we go, 047 Music Wire. Ah, uh, yes, I need just a little First things first is this guy. So, 
choosing this one because it's got the, the blank chin. I should be getting another one of these from Weta at some point because they did cast my head. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is replicating these ear hooks. Um, coming down, coming down across here. And then I'm going to have a separate a separate loop that comes up for the mustache. On this one, said loop is a little bit wide and these two struts get seen a little bit. Um, that was my first prototype, so that's fine. I can forgive myself. Um, <clears throat> so on this one though, I want it to be much more like that. So I actually think I could draw on this. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. And then these guys. Let's see what this is doing. Right. That's what I want, right? I want, yes, that's it. It's that. Let me hold on. Great. I'm just gonna slice this. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice frame. The, the, hard, the hard casting gives me a rough idea, but it all has to be, it all has to be fitted directly to my face, right? Okay, good. I like that. That's nice and mid-range, that's nice, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be the mustache line. Now I'm gonna bring a piece of spring steel in here, and I'm gonna connect it to it using just a little brass ferrule that I made out of some brass tubing, and I'll show you how I crimp that. But the next stage is the ears. So let's um let's just make a little loopy loop. Great. Now I've talked about bending metal a lot on this channel. You just, you just gotta do a lot of it. That's all. Excellent. Okay, so that. So here is, ah, there you go. There is the ear. And what I've done is I've given it, right, after it hooks over my ear, I've given it this little bit, and that bit will actually connect up. It'll allow me to have a little Same. bit of a... No. 
it'll allow me to have a little bit of extra surface area on which to sew this beard end, right? So, yeah. I do that on I both. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Okay. To set up a new device, Alexa. go to the settings on your Alexa device. She's motivated. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, right, there's that. Okay, so now that comes in like that. Now we're getting close. Okay, so now what you can see is, yeah, I still have some gappage here. I still have to take out, it's just, you're just constantly adjusting each relationship until you until it feels right, until it feels comfortable against your skin. I mean, that's really the thing I'm aiming for here is something that's like comfortable for me to wear. And I've got the left side almost perfect, right side still needs a bit more. Finessing, but we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. So now, mm -hmm. there we go. That was it. That was much more what I wanted. Like, gotta get to grab my chin a little bit. Okay, so now, before I continue, I have to add these brass ferrules. And these are just little tiny bits of k &S brass that can fit two widths of the piano wire through them. And then I'll, I use a crimper to crimp them. Ooh, my terrible posture in the mirror there. Always, always, always leaning forward like this. This, this is like, I, one of my sons, one of my sons has like posture that's not like mine, the other son just stand, I mean like from back, from the back, we look like the same person. All right, let me get a sanding stick. Just take off the burr here. I just slice these on a bandsaw. I'm not gonna put the mustache on until this whole thing is bent, but I can get close. Okay, so now, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, so many different relationships to get right here. All right. Better, 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 yeah. Yeah, those are in the right place. These are in the right place. This is I'm, this is gonna get worked on in a minute, you'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, that's okay. That's better, okay. So now, this guy. I'm gonna bend it to the same shape. And then we're gonna a little bit more. Okay, so now what I want is I want this to go whoop, here. 
I want to I want it to sit here. That's where I feel like it's positive. So here's what I'm going to do for that. I'm actually going to chuck this. So I've actually chucked this into the vise so I can bend these and hopefully get that up. And we'll see if I can do it. All right, so you can see what I've done here. I've bent this up here, and that's given me a little bit, yeah. Just there's a lot of, yeah, I have a little relationship to get right and get it to feel balanced on my face but it's starting to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That feels good. That feels even. I mean, I know it might not be perfect, but it feels even. And then when I bring in this guy, mm-hmm. See what I got going on? See that, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this here is a, uh, Boone, B-O-O-N-E, and this is a crimper for um, like the uh, fishing lure stuff. Yeah, exceedingly small cable uh, thimbles and eyes and holders. It's part of a whole system. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it just yet. <laughs> it's, I mean... Uh, I look at all sorts of different industries for the things that I need. I, 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 I can't. Anyway, this is a crimper. I'm going to do some crimping with it. That's all you need to know right now. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, what I've got. Okay, so I want about the same on both sides. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more even looking on the theory that that'll make it easier to wear. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. That feels good. Ooh, oh, the camera's down here. Okay, cool. So that was my measurement. And so is that. Okay, so here I hope you can see. Here, let me, yeah. I hope you can see. So this is a piece of brass tubing. It's just wide enough to fit two lengths of this wire. And I'm gonna crimp it right down there. First, I'm gonna snip it short so I don't have to deal with a lot of, oh yeah. Not bad at all. I mean, I think it can move a little bit, but no, that is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, one day build, I'm making my own retainer. <laughs> um, but this is great. This is, I'm really pleased. Uh, and leaving these ferrules on is actually, I mean, leaving them uncrimped for now allows me to kind of move this stuff around and get this until I really like it. And now we have a kind of a rough structure. See that? Yeah, yeah. And that structure mirrors my face, the pot topography of my face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's do some crimping. What happens with the crimping is the brass is much softer than the steel, so the crimper ends up like smooshing the brass around the steel in a way that's very positive as a grab. Um, that that one's good, but this one is awful. Hold on. All right, 
I feel good about that. That's not going anywhere. I've got a positive grab around the outside and all of this will be hidden. Um, this one is nice. I, that, that crimp is really good. All right, so let's put this on. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. So now uh, I'm going to hit this with um, oops. I'm going to paint this uh, some approximation of my flesh color. I wore myself out. Hopefully you can actually see, ooh, you know, it's been a little difficult maybe up till now to kind of see what we're working on, but here it is. This, why do I have to hold it up against my shirt? There we go. There you go. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, but there is the, my, my quick change black beard understructure. I'm very happy with it. All right, back in a minute. Okay, it is time. It is time to sew the mustache on. Now you might wonder why with a black beard I've gone with the this color. Well, it's because it matches my skin tone and beard tone. And I just want, I want all this to disappear behind this. If I made this black, you'd see this black outline. So no, it's gotta be flesh color. Mm, I know, I know. Get yourself a needle threader. I hear you. I'm just choosing to do it the old fashioned way. I always go with a double. I lose my thread if I do a single. Ooh, that's, oh, nice knot. Nice knot. <laughs> Uh, all right. There's many relationships to be attentive to here. And centeredness is one of them. So each time I'm going under the wire and I'm going through just about like four of the holes of the netting. I'm, and I'm not pulling super tight just yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. And in this way, I'm kind of basically just, I'm winding the thread around the wire and getting the netting uh, caught up as part of that. So now I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to pull a little taut and now I've got a nice little grab. Yep, and that is nice and centered right there. I'm very happy with that. So we're just gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on keeping on.
Okay. Uh, now, I've sewn it on. You can see here, <laughs> all the way across, it's relatively centered. It might have to move a little bit, but it can. Also, it pivots nicely on the, on the wire and stays put, which is something I find I'm really pleased about. I didn't know that that would work so well. I was worried that it would be all loosey-goosey. But here we go. I'm really, I'm really channeling my powers booth here. Yeah. Okay. So time for the beard. Time for the beard. Um, this one's a little trickier. Uh, what I found when I did this guy is that it's hard to both. You got to kind of put the whole beard onto the structure and then sew it to it. So I'm going to do the attachment here first, and then whoop, down this wire. Right. There's. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna cut it off of this bad boy. It's all super clearly hand sewn. Um, the work on these beards is, I'm really impressed. I, I, for, it's not just great for 120 bucks. It's just great. It's nice work. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased. I'm not a hair expert. There we go. That's great. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey. Pretty durable, this yak hair. Uh, and durable in the netting, too. So this work, look, I know this looks exceedingly tedious, and I, it is, but there is something glorious about this because as tedious as this is, it's not taken me more than a total of about an hour to do all the sewing to get this mustache and beard attached to this wireframe. And then it's there forever. So it's a very, like, the the the... The output to reward here is a very good distribution. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Good. So 
this is just one of those things. Tedium, the, the reason I think we resist tedium is because we think it's just going to suck up this like whole portion of our life and be like awful. And it does take time. Tedious things are tedious. That's their thing. But it's frankly, every time I give in to the tedium, at the end, I don't remember it. And I don't ever, I mean, it, it always takes less time than I was feared it would take. That is definitely true. It always ends up taking less time than I was afraid it would take. And giving this close up so you can kind of see how fast you can get going once you've really like nailed your parameters. And we are almost done with this beard. And this is, look, this is a better solution than glue. This is a better solution than tape. This is it's a lot easier than any of those others. No, this won't stand up to like in-person scrutiny, but for cosplay, for a for a movie character, yeah. There it is. There it is, all sewn in. Isn't that nice? Gotta be pleased with that. Gotta be pleased with that. Hell of a thing. Okay, so I'm starting to feel just a tad guilty about like hiding from you the what cosplay this could be. So I'm going to, I'm gonna give, give you a hint as to, as to the cosplay of this beard. And the hint, it's gonna look a little something. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not the Unabomber. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. This is Adam out. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you'd like to further support us here at Tested, one of the single best ways you can do it is through a Tested membership. Now there's a link below as to the various levels of Tested membership, but at the top level I want to explain, it's so much more than videos that are exclusive. There are Q and A's, there are live streams, there are some exclusive videos, but the thing I love most about the Tested membership is the interactivity, the constant and wonderful communication between the Tested members, and not just me, but our entire team. Every day, it feels more and more like a beautiful community just devoted to the joys of making. So join up and become one of us, one of us, one of us.